Hey y'all, my name is Elise. Welcome to the A&E channel. Okay, first and foremost, um, I'm not going to be showing my face. So this is basically just going to be like a voiceover. Um, because I had a really, really bad reaction from not taking my birth control pills. Like, let me see. Um, I stopped taking them um, in January and my face broke out so bad at the end of February. And so the reason why I know that that was it is because I I didn't eat anything out of the ordinary. I didn't, it's like I didn't do anything out of the or, ordinary but stop taking my birth control pills. And you know your birth control pills, they got everything to do with almost everything <laughs> in a woman. So, and you know, uh, when people take birth control pills, it, um, for some people, they take them so it can help with their acne. Now, yes, I do have acne, but it just, it was really, really, really bad. Like, my, like, y'all, I was like... <laughs> about to go crazy just because I was like oh my gosh like my face is constantly breaking out all day every day like it wouldn't heal it wouldn't and so when I started back taking my virtual pills I was like oh my god I gotta, I gotta stop taking my virtual pills so I started back taking my virtual pills and like mm, did I take them back right away I want to say I started taking them um, In March, I want to say. Because like I said, it happened at the end of February when my face started really, really breaking out. But it still took a while for my face to clear up. So it's better than what it was. Very much so better than what it was. But it's still not where I, I want it to be. So, y'all just going to be hearing my voice. But y'all will see me soon. Um, And then I'm going to tell first of all, I really don't like wearing makeup. And it's like I'm literally getting dressed up to go somewhere. I, but I really, really, really do not like wearing makeup. I hate wearing makeup. I hate putting it on. I hate taking it off. It's like, because you can't really do that. You got to be careful with what you do. You have to be careful with what you wear. And it's just, it's sickening. But, um, yeah. So, basically, this is just going to be like a... Y'all can come with me to work type of thing. Like, this this my uniform that I'm going to be wearing with my hat, my socks, and my undershirt or whatever like that. You know. And y'all bear with me because this will be, like, I think this will be, like, my first time, like, actually, like, doing, like, a, you know, like, a go with me type of thing. Because I'm not used to, like, constantly having my phone in my hand recording. You know what I'm saying? So it's, this is kind of different for me, but I'm trying to, you know, break out, break outside of that. You know, if I really want to, you know, like get into doing this, you know, I know, you know, the steps that I got to take and, you know, so, yeah. But, um, if anybody got a regimen for like adult acne, you know, please leave um a comment below. You know, because I do have dark spots. Um, I don't have, like, pimples all the time. But when I do, it's like they go away and then I have the spots. So, it's like, you know, that type of thing. And so, like, right now, um, I'm using this Cetaphil cleanser. And I'm using this Seabreeze estrogen. And it's been doing pretty good. And then after that, I'll use this porcelana cream that helps um, lighten the spots on the face. And then I use the hydrocortisone cream for um, for the uh, for the scabs, like or the pimples if I have a pimple. So that's what I've been doing. But I also um, I I've been being a little bad too because. I drink a lot of sodas and I eat a lot of chocolate. But at that particular time, I don't recall drinking a lot of sodas and eating a lot of uh, chocolate. So it's like, I just knew like, 
that messed me up though because you know it messed me up and of course you know it's gonna mess your cycle up too because my cycle ain't had been on like too much so but everything getting back into normal now like everything starting to balance back out now so i just know i need to i mean i drink water but it's like i balance my water out with soda too <laughs> things that i don't need coffee and tea you know but you know all that kind of thing but um so yeah um anyways like i say like y'all gonna be um sort of kind of with me while i go to the hospital um or whatever um right now y'all gonna go with me um to get me something to eat um and then we gonna go then we gonna work okay so y'all while i'm in nursing school um i basically i just sit with patients um at the hospital um i work for a staffing agency and they basically you know staff hospitals doctor offices um you know things of that nature it's a medical staffing company and me i just sit with patients so i just deal with like one patient at a time type of thing i do work 12 hour shifts um i work 12 hour shifts and i work like sometimes i work like thursday fridays and saturdays and and Sundays or either one of those days. It'd be like a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or a Sunday. I don't work like all four unless we on like a break or something. But most of the time I just work Fridays and Saturdays. Friday and Saturday nights. And if not that, then I will work like Friday and Saturday days or Saturday and Sunday days. Um so basically what I do um i wait for my job i wait for them to like text us they send out like blast text messages about positions that's opening for that day for that particular day and me i just wait for the um for them to post when it's about the hospital and at night and sometimes y'all it could be i could wait up to almost 12 o'clock sometimes and you know like i, I be needing my sleep Okay, so sometimes I might miss the text message because sometimes, you know, you got the call as soon as so you can get like a cer certain kind of cases because 1013s, they override, um, 1013 cases overrides behavioral cases. 1013 cases is basically like sitting with patients who are a harm or a threat to themselves or others so um so basically like people who done overdosed on stuff or you know going through withdrawal from drugs or, or alcohol and or they done just literally try to harm themselves with a weapon or something like that or um schizophrenic type of people bipolar you know those type of people um i like sitting with those type of patients to be honest with you i'm not gonna lie because most of the time I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Most of the time, they are people who gonna be either scrapped to the bed or self, you know? And so, with me being in nursing school, this is good for me because, y'all, I can I sit down all night or all day and I study. I'm studying. You know what I'm saying? And I'm able to study. I don't use the whole 12 hours of study, but trust me, like, majority of it, yes i be on it and so basically i just um you know and um behavioral um patients that i might sit with those are patients who can't you gotta keep telling them to stay in the bed or keep telling them not to mess with this or mess with that don't pull this out don't pull that out um you know just the ones who you just have to constantly redirect about stuff uh, those are the ones that i really don't like to say with y'all i ain't gonna lie because then that's what like i can't really study like i want to and so um yeah so that's basically how that go and uh, sometimes it's a hit and miss 
with um, patients I get. Sometimes I can get the same patient, and sometimes I don't. You know, sometimes I can, I can request the same patient, or sometimes I don't have people wanting to request me back, you know, because I've been so good with, you know, the patient that I'm with. So, you know, but, um, but yeah, it, it, it can be sweet some nights. I feel like it'd be so sweet some nights, um, or days. But it really works out for me with me being in school because I can set my own schedule, my own hours. Because there is um sometimes they have four hours, eight hours, twelve hours. Of course you gonna, you know you gonna get paid more when you work twelve hours or whatever, you know. And then after the third day you go into overtime. So you know, but I haven't been really doing that since I came went back to school. So, but um yeah and i'm just um i don't know how i'm gonna act y'all when i get a job that's probably gonna write require to set me set a schedule because i am so used to now just going to work when i want to go to work being off when i want to be off you know it's gonna be kind of hard for me to adjust but i don't know because once i become once i become an lpn baby i don't know that money gonna be talking so you know i don't know i i, I might not mind setting me a schedule okay but um yeah so while i was on my way to work um my supervisor had called me and she said that the patient i was going to be sitting with was going home and so they had to switch my room so most of well when they do that when a person going home and they switch you you don't know what you're going to be going into with the next patient so Luckily, I end up having a um a good patient. Thank God, I end up having a good patient. Like I had to get him up to go to the bathroom a couple of times, but honey, other than that, he was good. I was able to I was able to study and stuff. So um, but yeah, my supervisor she called me, and um she was like um at least your person going home so. Uh, we're going to put you in another person's room. Y'all, my whole energy just turned, went down. Like, you could tell from my voice if you would have heard me. Like, my whole energy just went down because... <sighs> and when she called, it's almost like I instantly knew that either the person is going home or they done canceled or the person who's still there or they just done switched me to somebody else who's way worse. Because most of the time, that's what it be. That's what it be most of the time. Sometimes a person who I'm going to be with, they uh, switch me out because somebody else is way worse and somebody else don't want to sit with that person. But you know, I don't, I don't, but y'all know I ain't gonna front. I don't complain. I just do it. I mean, you know, because sometimes it don't really be as bad as they make it seem sometimes because trust me, I've um, came in and... They'd be like, who you sitting with? And I'd be like, such and such. And they'd be like, oh, but y'all, the person don't even be hardly as bad as they make it sound. Because that was with a lady um, like that last week. That lady was asleep all night long. And she had a foley. And she would talk from time to time. But that lady was asleep. I think they had gave her something before the show. That lady was asleep the whole time so y'all i was able to study like crazy it was i'm like it was too good to be true like seriously it was too good to be true but yeah it's a pretty sweet thing